っとっとっとっとっとっとっとっとっとっとっとっとっとっとっとっとっとっとっとっとっとっとっとっとっとっとっとっとっとっとっとっとっとっとっとっとっとっとっとっとっとっとっとっとっとっとっとっとっとっとっとっとっとっとっとっとっとっとっとっとっとっとっとっとっとっとっとっとっとっとっとっとっとっとっとっとっとっとっとっとっとっとっとっとっとっとっとっとっとっとっとっとっとっとっとっとっとっとっとっとっとっとっとっとっとっとっとっとっとっとっとっとっとっとっとっとっとっとっとっとっとっとっとっとっとっとっとっとっとっとっとっとっとっとっとっとっとっとっとっとっとっとっとっとっとっとっとっとっとっとっとっとっとっとっとっとっとっとっとっとっとっとっとっとっとっとっとっとっとっとっとっとっとっとっとっとっとっとっとっとっとっとっとっとっとっとっとっとっとっとっとっとっとっとっとっとっとっとっとっとっとっとっとっとっとっとっとっとっとっとっとっとっとっとっとっとっとっとっとっとっとっとっとっとっとっとっとっとっとっとっとっとっとっとっとっとっとっとっとっとっとっとっとっとっとっとっとっとっとっとっとっとっとっとっとっとっとっとっとっとっとっとっとっとっとっとっとっとっとっとっとっとっとっとっとっとっとっとっとっとっとっとっとっとっとっとっとっとっとっとっとっとっとっとっとっとっとっとっとっとっとっとっとっとっとっとっとっとっとっとっとっとっとっとっとっとっとっとっとっとっとっとっとっとっとっとっとっとっとっとっとっとっとっとっとっとっとっとっとっとっとっとっとっとっとっとっとっとっとっとっとっとっとっとっとっとっとっとっとっとっとっとっとっとっとっとっとっとっとっとっとっとっとっとっとっとっとっとっとっとっとっとっとっとっとっとっとっとっとっとっとっとっとっとっとっとっとっとっとっとっとっとっとっとっとっとっとっとっとっとっとっとっとっとっとっとっとっとっとっとっとっとっとっとっとっとっとっとっとっとっとっとっとっとっとっとっとっとっとっとっとっとっとっとっとっとっとっとっとっとっとっとっとっとっとっとっとっとっとっとっとっとっとっとっとっとっとっとっとっとっとっとっとっとっとっとっとっとっとっとっとっとっとっとっとっとっとっとっとっとっとっとっとっとっとっとっとっとっとっとっとっとっとっとっとっとっとっとっとっとっとっとっとっとっとっとっとっとっとっとっとっとっとっとっとっとっとっとっとっとっとっとっとっとっとっとっとっとっとっとっとっとっとっとっとっとっとっとっとっとっとっとっとっとっとっとっとっとっとっとっとっとっとっとっとっとっとっとっとっとっとっとっとっとっとっとっとっとっとっとっとっとっとっとっとっとっとっとっとっとっとっとっとっとっとっとっとっとっとっとっとっとっとっとっとっとっとっとっとっとっとっとっとっとっとっとっとっとっとっとっとっとっとっとっとっとっとっとっとっとっとっとっとっとっとっとっとっとっとっとっとっとっとっとっとっとっとっとっとっとっとっとっとっとっとっとっとっとっとっとっとっとっとっとっとっとっとっとっとっとっとっとっとっとっとっとっとっとっとっとっとっとっとっとっとっとっとっとっとっとっとっとっとっとっとっとっとっとっとっとっとっとっとっとっとっとっとっとっとっとっとっとっとっとっとっとっとっとっとっとっとっとっとっとっとっとっとっとっとっとっとっとっとっとっとっとっとっとっとっとっとっとっとっとっとっとっとっとっとっとっとっとっとっとっとっとっとっとっとっとっとっとっとっとっとっとっとっとっとっとっとっとっとっとっとっとっとっとっとっとっとっとっとっとっとっとっとっとっとっとっとっとっとっとっとっとっとっとっとっとっとっとっとっとっとっとっとっとっとっとっとっとっとっとっとっとっとっとっとっとっとっとっとっとっとっとっとっとっとっとっとっとっとっとっとっとっとっとっとっとっとっとっとっとっとっとっとっとっとっとっとっとっとっとっとっとっとっとっとっとっとっとっとっとっとっとっとっとっとっとっとっとっとっとっとっとっとっとっとっとっとっとっとっとっとっとっとっとっとっとっとっとっとっとっとっとっとっとっとっとっとっとっとっとっとっとっとっとっとっとっとっとっとっとっとっとっとっとっとっとっとっとっとっとっとっとっとっとっとっとっとっとっとっとっとっとっとっとっとっとっとっとっとっとっとっとっとっとっとっとっとっとっとっとっとっとっとっとっとっとっとっとっとっとっとっとっとっとっとっとっとっとっとっとっとっとっとっとっとっとっとっとっとっとっとっとっとっとっとっとっとっとっとっとっとっとっとっとっとっとっとっとっとっとっとっとっとっとっとっとっとっとっとっとっとっとっとっとっとっとっとっとっとっとっとっとっとっとっとっとっとっとっとっとっとっとっとっとっとっとっとっとっとっとっとっとっとっとっとっとっとっとっとっとっとっとっとっとっとっとっとっとっとっとっとっとっとっとっとっとっとっとっとっとっとっとっとっとっとっとっとっとっとっとっとっとっとっとっとっとっとっとっとっとっとっとっとっとっとっとっとっとっとっとっとっとっとっとっとっとっとっとっとっとっとっとっとっとっとっとっとっとっとっとっとっとっとっとっとっとっとっとっとっとっとっとっとっとっとっとっとっとっとっとっとっとっとっとっとっとっとっとっとっとっとっとっとっとっとっとっとっとっとっとっとっとっとっとっとっとっとっとっとっとっとっとっとっとっとっとっとっとっとっとっとっとっとっとっとっとっとっとっとっとっとっとっとっとっとっとっとっとっとっとっとっとっとっとっとっとっとっとっとっとっとっとっとっとっとっとっとっとっとっとっとっとっとっとっとっとっとっとっとっとっとっとっとっとっとっとっとっとっとっとっとっとっとっとっとっとっとっとっとっとっとっとっとっとっとっとっとっとっとっとっとっとっとっとっとっとっとっとっとっとっとっとっとっとっとっとっとっとっとっとっとっとっとっとっとっとっとっとっとっとっとっとっとっとっとっとっとっとっとっとっとっとっとっとっとっとっとっとっとっとっとっとっとっとっとっとっとっとっとっとっとっとっとっとっとっとっとっとっとっとっとっとっとっとっとっとっとっとっとっとっとっとっとっとっとっとっとっとっとっと
going to get welded on there, but uh, it's going to fit at an angle so that when this swings out, it'll be on the outside of the gun instead of right in the middle of it. So we've got to grind away the corners of these uh, bars. Dang it! Uh, I was so sure that I could take this and uh, draw it up in Fusion 360 and uh, cut it on the CNC, but I just... I've been reconsidering and I've decided that a nice CNC cut part wouldn't go with the theme of this build, so I'm not going to do that. So I've broken it down into primitives instead. So this part is going to be made out of uh, uh, three walls of a piece of uh, square tubing. I have some two inch square tubing I'm going to use for that. This part is going to be probably angle iron. And then this part where the grip attaches is going to be welded on to that angle iron. So three different pieces, and then they're all just going to be welded together. I think this will give the thing a more rugged uh, look that kind of goes with the theme, and frankly, it'll be easier to build. If I can just build it, you know, out of metal uh, Legos, instead of catting the whole thing and getting all the dimensions exact and all that stuff, I think it'll be a lot faster. So I'm going to start uh, collecting my materials. Get to it. iron piece. This little guy is going to slip down here. No room for it right now, but anyway. That's going to go down there. This is the two inch square tubing. It's going to be cut probably right about here. It's a little bit big. It's a little it's a little bit taller, about a quarter of an inch taller than it was designed to be, but that's the material I got. Uh, so I'm going to weld this onto here. I'll probably just tack weld it to get started, get everything laid out, and then I'll start shaping things together. I've got it cleaned up a little bit. Got the uh, top doodad welded on. Ran by the flap disc. Got all the paint off of it. Well, as you can see, most of the paint off of this uh, two inch square tube. So the welds are all flattened out. They're looking not so horrible. These, I'm really pleased that these welds smoothed out nicely. And this was all just autogenous to stick this thing on there. It doesn't actually need to hold any weight. It's really more of a, uh, a kind of a washer, you know, just to add some whatever. Anyway, blah, blah, blah. Okay, got it all scribed out. This is going to be the uh, pivot of the handle, whatever, the pivot point, the hinge right here in the center. This is margin. This is margin. All this is going to be removed. Uh, you know, so I'm going to go cut the pipe on the bandsaw here. Just cut it right in half. And then this will have to be finessed out just a little bit with the curve around there, but I'll rough that out on the bandsaw. And it should start looking like an actual thing before too long. Alright, here's what it looks like on the front. This scribe is a tracing of the gun. This is where the gun goes. That's the center line. So once it's all done, I will grind these so that they taper down to fit the gun. Kind of like the handle that comes with it. I'll just round these off nicely. out I have no 3 8 inch steel stock laying around for the uh, pistol grip. So I took some uh, half inch stock and uh, ground it down on both sides with the shell mill. Now it's ready to do, uh, ready to use. That is 
done, let's see if I can touch it. Yeah. I'm gonna go uh, grind those just a bit. And, uh, you know, whatever. Yeah, this drill bit needs to go in the trash. Garbage. Got some holes in it though. I made a bit of a mistake. I wasn't thinking. I should have cut this taller so that I could put the uh, the locking detent thing on it. So the plan is, I'm going to cut this in half or something. I don't know. Anyway, the plan is I'm going to weld this on there and then uh, grind it down to the right size and shape because as you can see it's quite a bit too tall. It needs to be about half that height and we have to allow room for the pin to go in the middle of this. So I've marked it out. I'm going to just go tack weld that on there. All right. Got this thing welded on. It fits uh, nicely. You know, it, it lines up nicely with the uh, groove in the top here. So now I get to cut out the center of it with a cutting wheel, and uh, then I get to sand an angle into it so that when it fits in the slot, it doesn't rattle. It fits in there tightly and probably only like halfway or three quarters of the way in. Okay, the mechanism is in and it uh, is working really well. Got these little tabs uh, filed down, so. Push, when it's mounted on the gun, of course, it'll be easier, but you push the button down, the arm swings up, and locks into place in the up position. Same thing to get it back. Like I said, it's kind of hard to push right now because there's no gun on it. There we go. Now it's back, locked in the open position. Working pretty well. Got the pin locked in by the two set screws here. The hinge pin, flush on the bottom, nice button on the top. We're about ready to put this thing back together. Okay, so I think we're done with the metal work on this uh, part here. So we're gonna give it just a torch oxide finish, darken it up a little bit, sort of a phony blue, light blue. <laughs> Pretty good. Sort of a uh, very light bluing. Here's kind of what the heat blue looks like. It's just an, an oxide finish. It's a very thin finish, so it'll scratch very easily, but uh, who cares?
Okay. There's the AR pistol grip. Hmm. There you go. Let's get the uh, get the barrel put on. Okay, we've got the whole thing assembled. This is the rebar barrel, the walnut uh, grip, the folding stock folds forward and back. It currently does not lock forward. I'm not going to worry about it because I don't care. It does lock back, however. Clunk. There you go. Got the uh, AR style pistol grip there. And it's all a good fit. Swing this back up by pushing the button. So here it is all done. It's uh, a little bit heavy because, you know, rebar, steel and everything. But uh, it works well and feels pretty good. There we go, clicks into place and opens up. Pistol grip feels reasonably good, nice and solid. Yeah, got good proportions. Shoulders pretty well. Feels good, 